only be building our business in one country, but we will be uh, roaming around the world. As the saying goes, the world will be Sante's playing field. So that will be exciting, all right? So there's a lot of travels. And as mentioned a while ago, we'll be launching some more simple travels in each and every country uh, with simple mechanics, simple requirements, specially designed uh, to our business owners who, judged, who joined us recently because we, they wanted, we, we, we wanted them to feel the real meaning of living a Sante life. That's what we wanted to do. So expect uh, us to launch something exciting in the days or weeks to come. And let me just end my uh, uh, our CEO updates, okay? Uh, with for me, an important topic because since uh, our objective is really to, to to grow bigger and stronger and to be able to regain our momentum because pandemic for me is already over, okay? We're now into the new normal era and uh, the economy is now opening, not only in one country but all over the globe, right? Let me just give you a recap quickly of the vision of the company in the next 10 years. So this is Sunday 2022 and beyond. I won't go into details, but I would just like to end by presenting you an important topic, which I believe is a key, okay, towards us achieving the year of triple double. As mentioned, I think for the past several years, I think I presented this last 2021, okay, the vision of Sante, number one, is to have a manufacturing facility expansion in New Zealand, and it's happening right now. We wanted to have our own manufacturing facility also in the Philippines. We would like to see a huge and world-class laboratory. We would like to open doors in more than 20 countries in the next 10 years. We would like to see world-class employees and business owners. And as mentioned, the world will be Sante's playing field. And during that event, I forgot when that event is, I mentioned that we are Team Sante and we are all destined for greatness. Now listen to this because this is very important. What I presented to you, these are not just presentation slides that will excite you and motivate you, but this is something that we are holding on and we believe will happen. But before it can happen, we have to realize and understand that we need each other, all right? Sante alone, the management team cannot do this. We need our business owners because in the process of us achieving all of this vision, all right, these are huge, all right? Although some of this are already happening right now, for us to achieve this, and if we achieve this, there will be a lot of people who will be blessed. If Sante in the next coming years will achieve, let's say, a billion dollar in sales times 50, you know, if you're a Filipino, you always multiply 50, diba? a billion dollars at 50 billion pesos. I'm estimating 40 to 50 percent of that will be released as commissions or bonuses. So if it's, if it's 50 billion, maybe around 20, 25 billion will be given to business owners. How much will be your portion in that 2025 billion? Big dream, big vision, but let's talk about reality. The reality is this. As the challenge escalates, the need for teamwork elevates. We have a big challenge. We love challenges. We've been challenged during pandemic, but we didn't only survive, but we thrive. We have a bigger challenge because a lot of you needs to achieve a dream this year, 2022. And that's the reason why we launched the year of triple double. We wanted to achieve something in the next five years. You wanted to achieve, achieve something in the next 10 years. You already have your vision board. You already have your direction. You know what you wanted. It's challenging. If it's not challenging, please replace that dream. That dream should be challenging. And we know that if it's challenging, you need a team. Let me discuss one of my favorite topics, okay? Uh, in as much as I don't want to do a training session, but I would like to discuss this topic to you because I know that this is the key towards us hitting the year of triple double. Ask yourself this question. Are you now part of a team? 
which honestly, you need to be part of. You're part of the Sunday team, but more than being part of the Sunday team, ask yourself this question, who is your team leader right now? All right? Uh, if you're a member of Sunday, you have a sponsor. Ask your Joey, my sponsor is not my team leader because he's not active. Okay, go to his sponsor. But bottom line, you, who's part of the Zoom call right now, needs to identify your team leader because you need to be part of the team. And for some of you, Identify also who are the people under your team, your team members. If you're just new in Sante, you don't have any team members, it's okay. But the important thing is you have to be embedded in a team. We will be meeting face-to-face -face already starting April 11. We would like to see the different teams. We will be creating exciting gimmicks so as to encourage you to be part of a team, which I believe you are, All right? By identify who is your leader. Let's talk about teamwork because this is very important. One simple definition of teamwork is this. This is the process of working collaboratively with a group of people in order to achieve a goal. So if you have a goal, you don't have a choice. You need a team. You cannot do the Sante business alone. Even though you're a superstar salesman, it's hard to do things alone. Yes, you can sell products every day. Diba? But your capacity is based on the number of people that you can talk to or reach. If you want to multiply yourself and be able to create something extraordinary, you need to work collaboratively with people. And I love an acrostic for uh, the word team. It simply means together, everybody achieves more. If you're alone, that's a big problem. You can achieve some, but you cannot achieve more. According to one of my favorite authors, John Maxwell, one is too small a number to achieve greatness. You want to achieve more? Be part of a team. Have a team leader. Be part of a group. Of course, one of my favorite players, in fact, he is my favorite player right now, is Stephen Curry, Steph Curry. All right? If you're into basketball, if you're into the NBA, maybe you'll know this guy. Considered as the best shooter ever. But you have to accept the fact that if it's only Steph Curry, nothing will happen. Steph Curry is part of 18. And when I talk about 18, I'm not only talking about his teammates. I'm also talking about the, the coaching staff. I'm also talking about maybe the one who's washing their clothes. I'm also talking about their water boys. All the people who's part of the Golden State team. Why do you need to have a complete team? Because each and every member of the team, they have specific roles. In the Sante management team, each and every member is vital. Even though some of them are just packing products for delivery, their role is vital. Could you imagine if they pick the wrong products every now and then? That's a problem for us. That's a huge problem. Each and every member of the team is so important because we have a big goal. We have a big dream. Now ask yourself this question. How big is your dream? Because if that dream is big enough, you need to be part of a team. You need to work with them. As the saying goes, individuals play the game, but only a team can win a championship. Do we want to win as Team Sante? If the answer is yes, we need to work together as a team. All right, uh, very soon, uh, we'll be having a program. We'll be releasing a lot of one team, one Sante shirt. Because you have to realize and you have to, once and for all, embrace the fact that we need to be one single team. Of course, there are different teams. Uh, we have Team Stallion, Team LOC, Team Mavericks. I cannot mention all of your teams, huh? so wala mong tatampo. These are individual teams inside a huge and powerful Sante team. And I challenge each and every team in Sante right now. It's time for you. Uh, wala pa lang sana yung anong boltes 5 ng GMA7 eh. pero it's time for you to bolt in hold each other's hands according to the movie ano, no? Avengers Paul ano? according to uh, Captain America Avengers Assemble so Team Sante Assemble according to uh, a former president President Lyndon Johnson there are no problems we cannot solve together but there are very few that we can solve by ourselves. If we really want to achieve our dreams in life, we need to be part of a team. But listen to this. 
there's a price that you need to pay for you to really achieve something great in this life. If there's a price that you need to pay, there's also a price that you need to pay if you want to be part of a strong and powerful team. You cannot just be part of a team and just be an audience. I don't have that slide right now, but ask yourself this question. If you are in a basketball game, who are you? Are you the ones playing on the court? Or are you the ones just watching the audience? To cut the long story short, I challenge all of you who's watching right now in FB Live or in Zoom. You have to be part of the game because you're not an audience anymore. You need to be part of this team, but there's a price that you need to pay. Number one, there's sacrifices that you need to make. There can be no success without sacrifice. What sacrifices? Diba? We can now go out right now because for me, pandemic is over, although still, be careful. Huh? Since you're, you can now go out, where will, we, where will you spend your time? Will you spend your time just roaming around the malls, watching movies? Well, it's okay naman to do that because I, I believe you've been parang stuck at home for more than two years already. But maybe this is the right time for you to do whatever it takes, okay? To bond with your team, to be able to, to meet them, mingle with them. Because at the end of the day, he who would accomplish little will sacrifice a little. But he who would achieve much must sacrifice much. We don't have a choice. That is teamwork. The team gets to the top only through the sweat, blood, and sacrifices of, of its team members. We will be opening our doors for face-to-face -face meetings starting April 11. I'm excited to see you all. And going to that office in uh, Sante Philippine headquarters, in a way, is a sacrifice. Why? Because we're used to in staying at home and just opening our computer. That's already our comfort zone. Partners, I'm challenging you. Start to move out of your comfort zone. Of course, with safety protocols. Huh? We will go to Eton. We will go there. Okay, we will we will continuously and start, okay, exciting each and every one of us. When I when I go there, I know that my role is not only to motivate you, but my role and my goal and objective is also to be motivated by seeing you, by talking to you. And that's what we will do in the days to come. What's another price of teamwork? Commitment. Partners, we need your commitment. We have around 360 people in Zoom call right now in the Zoom. Maybe some in FB Live. Maybe some of our partners are relaxing and sleeping right now or they have other activities. But it doesn't matter. If you really want to achieve something great, we need your commitment. Actually, it's not we. You need your commitment. Teamwork does not come cheaply. It costs you time and that means you pay for it with your life. Teamwork doesn't build in a day. It's developed daily. Start building your team today. Commitment. It's just like uh, committing to marry someone. It's something that should last a lifetime. As mentioned during our salvo, diba? it's nice when you marry someone. Eh, diba? You're happy, you're excited. But after the wedding day, when you see your spouse tomorrow morning after she or he wakes up, huh? this is how she looks after waking up. But you don't have a choice. Sometimes it's not anymore about love. It's about commitment. You're already part of Sunday. You join already. You buy a package. You're with us during pandemic. So your commitment is so important. Commitment not only to be part of the Sunday team and to work with your team, but commitment to do whatever it takes for you to achieve your dreams in life. Number three, okay, another price of teamwork, personal development. Listen, makinig, everyone. A team will only reach its potentials if the individuals will reach their potentials. I love this statement by Max Dupre, if I pronounce his name right. Basahin nyo and feel it. We cannot become what we need to be by remaining what we are. You really want to be part of the of Team Sante? Continuously strive 
to become a better person every day. Starting today, read the book. Definitely, you're uh, you're a better person today because you attended our CEO updates. So you will learn something from me based on the topic that I'm presenting to you right now. But what will happen to you tomorrow if you don't have a training like this? But aspire to learn even though there's no training schedule in uh, Sante. Even though Sante English doesn't have a training schedule. Because that's your role if you really want to be part of a strong and powerful team. And last but not the least, if you want to be a better team player, unselfishness should be inherent or embedded in your system. If you want the, your team to reach your, its potential, personal agenda should be set aside. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo, start moving out of your comfort zone. You have a role to play in your team. Even though you're just new in this business. If you know something, share it to people. If you have an idea, share it to them. If you became successful closing a sale with this strategy, share it to your partners. The world will be our playing field, as mentioned time and time again. Our target is not only to build here in the Philippines or in Singapore or in Hong Kong, but to have a global network. If you want that to happen to you, unselfishness shouldn't be, shouldn't be part of your equation. Remember this, when you give your best to the world, the world will always return the favor. And to end, just a few more slides. Ask yourself this question. Do you want to be a better team player? Let me just give you four ways on how you can become a better team player. Number one, you have to be adaptable. If you won't change for the team, the team may change you which I know will not happen because you will adapt. Blessed are the flexible, for they shall not be bent out of shape. We're now entering into the new normal era, wherein we'll be mixing face-to-face -face and Zoom call. Move out of your comfort zone. Let's see each other this coming April 11. Of course, we won't all fit in the office. I'm trying my best to fix our uh, Santa International headquarters because I would like to see you there. It's a bigger venue. So we'll be doing simultaneous venues. Okay? But of course, I'm also challenging our branch operators who are here right now. If you have a training center in your branch office, why not connect your trainings in your training center in our big event? When you do have our event every Monday, do a Zoom call, invite people in your event. And you'll never know. We might be able to invite some of you to talk during the big presentation, during the Sunday partnership program, you can share testimonies while you're in your location. We will start to adapt. We will be, okay, we will, let me present to you some characteristics of people who are adaptable. People who are adaptable, adaptable they are teachable. People who are adaptable, they are emotionally uh, secure. Okay, what do I mean that you are emotionally secure? All right? Listen to this. Insecure people always see things as a threat. Insecure people, okay, meet with rigidity and suspicion the addition of another talented person in the team. Do you understand that? Oh my goodness, there's a new member in Sante. Okay, uh, this is what happened to me when I was still building a network. Whenever I build I'm trying to, to develop new leaders. Some of my leaders will react now, oh no, our sponsor is now building a new team. He doesn't love us anymore. So I have to make them understand that no, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm modeling the behavior. Because insecurity, insecurity doesn't play any role in teamwork. You want to be that, you, you want to practice the, 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 the value or the, the Virtue of adaptability, be emotionally secure. Be creative. When difficult times, when time is difficult, challenging, you always find a way. Because creativity fosters adaptability. And last but not the least, but not least, I love this because I know that Santa leaders are people who are service-minded. Team, you have to be adaptable because the, well, that's one of the marks of a good 
for a better team player. If you are willing to change and adapt for the sake of your team, at the end of the day, your team will always have a chance to win. Number two, all right? At the long run. You want to be a better team player? You have to be collaborative because working together precedes winning together. You want to be a champion? Your team, does your team want to be a champion? Do you want to be the best? Okay, it's not about competition. It's not about team competition. It's about proving to yourself, all right, that you're a good team player and you're part of one of the best teams in Santi. That whenever we have an incentive program, a travel, okay, your team will always have representative. If this year, let's say there will be around 150 or 250 people that will qualify in our regional travel, maybe your team represents maybe 20, 30, or 40 participants. How can you do that? By working together now. Because it's precede, it precedes winning. Collaboration is multiplication according to John Maxwell. All right? Collaboration is multiplication. But listen to this. Collaboration is more than cooperation. So you cannot say that you're a better team player because you cooperate with your team. No, it's beyond cooperation. Cooperation is working together agreeably. But collaboration is working together aggressively. Be a collaborative member of your team. Not only a cooperative. Don't just cooperate. Collaborate. Because you're needed for your team to succeed. And all of your teams are needed for Team Sante to succeed. And last but not least, you want to be a better team player, you need to commit. There's, there are no half-hearted champions. Prior to Steph Curry, he is my favorite player, Michael Jordan. All right? He's not playing anymore, so he's not my favorite anymore. <laughs> but I still love Michael Jordan, his passion, his uh, love for the sport. And one of his statements is this. I've always believed that if you put in the work, the results will come. I don't do things half-heartedly because I know that if I do, then I can expect half-hearted results. Team Sante, I know that a lot of you would like to achieve something great this year. If you really want to achieve something great, great this year, you need to have great commitments, not half-hearted commitments. It should be whole, no crack. I challenge you, everyone who's watching right now in Zoom call, try to give your full and 100% commitment for at least one year and see the results that will happen. Full commitment for one year. Move out of your comfort zone. One of my favorite statements in this business is you have two options. It's either you play now and play later or pay now and play later. Ibig sabihin, be challenged right now so that someday you'll relax. Or relax right now and someday be challenged. So whatever your options are, okay, is you'll be challenged. So I'd rather be challenged now and have fun later on. So let's, let's pay now and play later. There's a lot of travels in the coming days. All right? Ilan yun? Seven or eight travels. And our leaders will be playing together. Why? Because they paid hard several years ago. You want to play later, a few years from now? You have to pay today. What's the price of becoming a champion? Commitment. Ordinary people with commitment can make an extraordinary impact on the world. Ordinary people with commitment can create something huge this year, 2022. We are an ordinary company 14 years ago. But because of our extraordinary commitment, we are now a force to reckon with in the global arena. 14 years ago, 
we're no one. We're nothing. Who is Sante? No one knows Sante. But 14 years after, yesterday I went to podium in Ortigas. Paso ko, the guard saw me wearing a shirt. Oh, sir, from Santi Barley. We were, uh, we biked the other day, uh, and last Saturday, uh, I joined a bike ride in Clark, Mampanga. We're having an event. Someone approached me. Sir, I'm a member of Santi. I was talking to, uh, someone was introduced to me, a possible brand ambassador. When he, when that person met me, when my friend introduced me to her, when I was introduced as the CEO of Sante, she was surprised. Oh, Sante Barley, I've been hearing of that company and I wanted to be part of your team. We're now a force to reckon with because we planted something 14 years ago. But listen to this. <clears throat> there are bigger challenges in the years to come because yung growth natin will be grabe, so huge and so big. And that entails a lot of challenges and adventure. If you want to be part of that journey, I suggest you start embedding yourself with your team. We will start seeing each other in the coming days. And I assure you that dreams will come true this 2022. Because I know that if you have a dream, you need a team. And we don't have a choice because it's only teamwork that will make our dream work. So with that, I would like to, of course, thank you for your time. I'm excited and I'm happy. And I know that this might be the last time that I'll be doing my CEO update in front of a computer. All right? Unless I'm out of the country. Because by next month, if you'll be having a May CEO update, it will be either in the Sante Philippine headquarter or the Sante International headquarter. And you will be in front of me. Okay? Having fun, shouting, laughing, face-to-face. -face. And I assure you, if we will hold each other's hand, all right, the world will really be the playing field of the Sante family. So with that, thank you very much for your time. God bless you all. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in person. Back to you, Ian. Thank you. Wow, thank you very much, Sir Joey, Marcelo. Indeed, together we stand divided. We call this is a timely call for uh, teamwork, ladies and gentlemen. So let's... Uh, Hold in and uh, team up together because we cannot become what we need to be by remaining what we are. This is also a timely challenge, Sir Joey. This time, this, uh, this 2022, let's challenge everybody and all leaders to fill up our Zoom of 1,000 and fill up Sante Eton International Office of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, with a uh, leader like Sir Joey Marcelo, Sir Paul Paluag, Ma'am Minette Karag, and uh, Sir Eric, Wow, this team is going places. Let's win more championships this 2022. Team Sante, one team, one Sante. Thank you, everybody. Heart reaction button for our beloved CEO, Sir Joey Marcelo. Thank you very much, Sir Joey. And of course, let's have a...